guys and welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber welcome back to another video by your girl and if you are just passing by hopefully you like what you see and if you like what you see subscribe so in today's video we're going to be doing an updated q a as i said i'll kind of do this twice a year or once a year but it's just mainly because I'm getting new subscribers, new followers and all of that and people would like to get to know me a bit more and things change throughout the year, you know? So it's a mukbang. I'll be having some food from Habo Dijo, but without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Y'all know the vibes, it's that six times station. So there's a place in Bryanston, Santon, Am I saying it correctly? Bryanston, Bryanston, um, called Habo Dijo. They serve traditional South African food and they serve gotas. I don't know if it's traditional, but I don't think so. So I got a plate. For anybody who doesn't know what's a plate, a plate is um, you get bab, you get chagalak, you get bridey, and whatever. So that's exactly what I got. So it comes in this slow thing. I'm so glad we gave it. And this is what it's looking like inside. I got some chakalaka. Okay, I'm gonna put them here. I got some this is spinach. I don't eat spinach. And this is some salsa. I'm gonna drizzle it over the pub. Ooh. So I got a combo of, I think I'm going to have it with a spoon, yeah, I got a combination of, oh my goodness, this looks messy, a combination of fours and chunk and some, what's this, salsa, chocolate and spinach, I don't know why they gave me spinach. But you know, I'm just gonna put this here and then we're gonna dive straight into the video. My choice of bib is some flying fish. This is actually the bib that I always have on oh my goodness, my hands are slipping. Oh, I'll always have when I say I have beer, I'm having this some premium beer. Okay, let's jump straight into the questions. So I put out an Instagram sticker, y'all know how this just goes, but then you have a first bite. Mm. Okay. It's feeling good. I'm going to just a some more. And then we're going to jump right into it. So the first question is, what are your three favorite songs at the moment? Oh my goodness, I only listen to Pop Smoke. My three favorite songs at the moment is probably Maybe Welcome to the Party by Pop Smoke. Currently, I've been listening to Isola DJ My Polisa Observer Small. I don't know why it took me such a long time to find the song or to actually like the song but i think the problem with me is once a song is trending i'm never gonna listen to it until it gets out of trend then that's when i will listen to it you know might be struggling with this damn pop chair and then another song that was trending on tiktok last year is Closer. I love that song. It's like one of my three favorite songs at the moment. I'm still listening to it until there's another song. Oh, even I'm gonna put a fourth song. Even Soul by Future. Ah, uh, it's for I won't let you down. It's for him right now. Uh -huh. You know. The next question is, what is the best relationship advice you have gotten? If it is getting toxic, leave. If it doesn't serve you any purpose, leave. That's the best advice I have ever gotten. 
if it's not serving you, leave. The next question is, what is the weirdest thing you do and people find it weird, but you find it normal? Damn. Oh my goodness, what do I do that is weird? Oh my goodness. I don't think I do weird things. The only person that can answer this is my family or my friends. Because I believe that I don't do weird things. But I'm sure I do. Next one is... Have you ever gotten dumped and why? Yo! <laughs> and so, you see what it happened was I was dating someone. I was in a relationship actually. Okay. I don't know what we were doing at the current moment right now. But it was something. Something was happening. So, you know when you uh, put a lock screen and then you write something? I don't know if you can still do that now, but back in the day, you could you could put your lock screen and you could still write something on your lock screen. I think it was like a title or something. So I wrote um, Aries. So, this is my style sign is Aries. So when I was unlocking my phone, my, my boyfriend at the time was like, who is Andres? No, he didn't even say that. Then, then later on, we had a date and whatever, whatever, he saw that. And then he assumed it's Andres. And then he texted me, he's like, so you're cheating on me? You're dating Andres? Yada, yada, yada. And then he's like, it's over. I'm like, what? Okay, cool. And I was like, okay, fine. And then I moved on. I think a year later and then month but for him months later he was still approaching me he was like no i'm sorry yada 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 i'm like i've moved on my boy we've moved on to bigger and better things hey next one is um do you have friends in the industry but i i don't I just know all people and I know people but to say we are friends is a bit of a stretch this truck is nice it's a stretch to say people are your friends when they're not your friends like even with the real friendships I could say someone is my friend can't you? nope they're not even my friend so you just never know with people in the industry but I feel like Yes, you should make friends, but you should be very wary. You should keep your eyes open because people could fuck you over just to get to a better place than they want to get to. And then you, you're here left with the mess that they have created. You know? Next question is Who are your favorite? Top three South African YouTubers. Y'all already know without a shadow of doubt. Now, Nale, my lady, Malela is my number one. That's my that's my girl. And then the second person. Ooh, mm, the second person would have to be. Who do I watch a lot? That's not really for sure. The second person would have to be Miss Exo. Holy Kabash. Holy Kabash, yeah. That's my second one. And then my third one is K Mahapa. K Mahapa is funny. And I learned a lot from K's videos, more than I learned from the news, history books. From people, no ways. Okay, is underrated actually. I feel like he's underrated on YouTube, but he's very goated on TikTok. 
because I initially found him on TikTok, then I saw him on Twitter, then I found him on YouTube. I was like, I'm here to stay. You know, next one is what turns you off in friendships? Lies. Lies and the urge to want to, what's the word? Be in competition with me. Why are you competing with me? I thought we are friends. I thought we in this together. That's why it's also tricky to have friends in the industry. It goes back to that. It's tricky to have friends in the industry because you don't know who has your back and you, you don't know are people actually uh, rooting for you or they just cloud chasers. You never know with people, you know? So yeah, um, it's people betraying you, turn offs in the friendship, people betraying you, people wanting to be in competition with you. It's always, I post, you post, I do this, you do that, who does it better? Mm -mm. That's what turns me off. That's why I feel like I have like a handful of friends because we're not in competition with each other, we encourage each other. I see a post that relates to what you love and it's a job opportunity. I'm going to recommend you. I'm going to tag you in it. I'm going to share it with you. Not now. I'm gatekeeping. Why? If, if it's not something I like doing. Mm -mm. But people out here move messy. You know? Next question is, ooh, I love this question. What is your favorite aka some composure? Okay, this is a bowl. Composure is my favorite aka song. Hold it now, hold it now, hold it now. The same moment we own it now. You feel in some type of way. That's my favorite song. That is the best the song in South Africa. Goaded. Unmatched and goated. Next one is who was the first you should be subscribed to? Beauty Corner SA, which is now known as Naledi Malena. The next one is why did you stop uploading on YouTube in December and January? I was revamping my channel because when I when I came back, I came back with a new intro. And I, I was tired of my old intro and I didn't want to post with my old intro anymore. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take the steps to get a new intro. And that took time. Excuse me. That took time because what happened? It was during December. People are busy. People are knocking off. It's festive season. That is why. Other than that, I'm back and I'm better. Won't you bad as ever? By the time you see this video, you would have seen a whole lot of content, my babe. Next one is who is your favorite fashion designer? <sighs> is it South African? Or are we crossing the borders? This chunk is too good. South African has to be David Lally. That man, golden. Golden. Thing is, with David Lally, I have been his fan or his number one supporter since I was nine years old when I discovered him. And I discovered him in a drum magazine. He was doing this. I still even have that. I saved it. I took the cutout, put it in a file of all the designers I like and where I'd like to be in the fashion industry, right? So that's what I did. Um, David, I found him in a drum magazine and I was like, when I grow up, I want to be like you. That's my favorite South African fashion designer. International, who there's so many, no, 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 no. But I'm not going to say who. But what I can give you is, I think it's Blue Marine. 
uh, Y2K fashion. I don't dress for like Y2K fashion. I, I dress boring and basic, but you know, Y2K fashion is making a comeback and it looks good on the girlies. Oh, it looks too good on the girlies. So, yeah. But also, fun fact the person that made me fall in love with fashion was Kimora Lee Simmons when she had uh, her TV show on the Star Network channel 163 mm -mm, 175 when it was still the Star Network it had How Do You Look and all of that before they made How Do You Look South Africa baby fat careless uh oh. She's the reason why I fell in love with fashion. And then I heard that she had uh, a store in Joe, but then I went to the store. I went to the store a week after she was actually here. But I was so young, I wasn't even gonna remember, hey? But nonetheless, that's that's the backstory of the fashion. Next one is why don't you do vlogs anymore? Guys, I don't do anything, my life is Boring. Mm -mm. And I noticed that my vlogs are repetitive, doing the same thing every day. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go off on this. Should I put a scissor? Anyway, yeah, my content is becoming repetitive, especially with the vlogs. The sit downs, it's fine. I can come up with an idea or concept or whatever. But the, the vlogs, I'm always at home. So, chilling with my friends. Nothing exciting is happening. Hence why I'm no longer posting a lot of vlogs. Yes, people like vlogs. People like vlogs and they want to see what you are doing, who you're doing it with. But if it's boring people are not gonna watch so why bother yourself but if i do things that are interesting definitely vlog and the next one is who is the one person you enjoyed collaborating with everyone every single one of those people all of them oh they i, I sometimes generally honestly and genuinely just go on my channel and watch the collabs because they are amazing those people are amazing <clears throat> and i think i love collaborating with people especially on the segment of say it or shout it and music session because people are so different with music i get shocked every time that we don't, we, we all not listen to pop smoke Kanjani, bro. Kanjani. So we all not listen to pop. So we all not turn games and say, we will welcome to the pod. Shocks me. Some people even listen to Tupac. I don't even listen to Tupac, eh? So yeah. Next one is Wake Up Braids. Ish. It's tricky. That one is tricky. But braids. Braids, braids, braids. Any day. Next one is, what is the most painful breakup you have gone through? Is it friendship or is it breakup? So I'll, I'll talk about the two. Relationship wise, was my first love. It ended horribly. It was even a horrible relationship on its own. So mm -mm. there were things that were said, done that shouldn't have even been said that shouldn't have even been done to begin with next okay if i say next in friendship was that one friend that did me so dirty i still sit sometimes and wonder why did you do what you did to me like i had so much love for you and i was th i was there for you too thick and then a problem I was there when you needed a shoulder to cry and I was there but you, you did me like this 
You did me so dirty. I forgave her, but hey, I can never forget. I can forgive you, but forget it. So, is it? Next one is what is the deal breaker in a relationship or friendship? Relationship lies, cheating, being abusive, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, even. Yeah, that's in a relationship, even friendships, also. Yeah, even friendships. Next one is what kind of pizza do you like? Hawaiian pizza is my OG. After that, it's Mexican. And I'm so sorry, but I love the pizzas from Romans. Those are the only pizzas that match to me. And yes, I do enjoy pineapple and pizza. Come for me. Yeah, I said it. Next one is what is the biggest lesson lesson you've learned this year? I learned I discovered parts of myself that I didn't know even existed. Ooh. The biggest lesson that I've learned is I am genuinely learning myself as as the years go, I'm busy learning myself. I discover parts of myself every time. So that's what I've learned. I've learned that each year, each day, I learn something about myself and something that I would like to change. The the toxic traits that people say I have, the lack of communication people say I have, the rudeness and all of that. I learn things every day and how we view ourselves and how others view us. Two different things, my bro. Two different things. I love you, dog. I love you. You love me? I love you. Yeah. Next one is, do you believe you're a good person? Yes, but other people actually i'm saying yes because other people have said that the ones that have made me on off days i'm so i'm so sorry but i'm not so, that's what i hate about chunk must mm-mm. must fight for your life so or more all right effects all right effects because, next one is have you met ever met someone famous? Yes, post Malone. <laughs> we meet famous people in prom every single day. Every single day. If you go to prom right now, you're gonna meet someone single. Okay, if you're in Joburg, South Africa, you're gonna bump into a lot of celebrities every day. Go Bram, Santin. Rose Bank, yeah. I've met a lot of South African people. Next one is what is your favorite restaurant? Josie Gin and Eatery in Morningside. The Hadley Day Banks, so the Hadley Day. Go with it. Go with it. Next one is what is your shoe size? Size 6. Next one, do you have any pets? I have four dogs. I'm a dog now. Probably. Next one is... Sorry. What is your favorite shoe brand? Nike. Nike sneakers are go-to. If you're talking about heels, Steve Madden. If you're talking about slides, anything, basically. Yeah. Next last one is are you a religious person or you're spiritual i'm a bit of both but i'm more religious than i'm spiritual because i'm catholic yeah so i'm very religious compared to being spiritual but i don't judge people who are spiritual each the each to their own yeah that brings us to the end of the video and i'm left with nothing yeah 
12 mil bank i got this for 137 not bad actually not bad any steps with this beer and just like that that's over but thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and i'll see you in my next video bye